Hi there, Kira here with a scrapbook layout process video for the wild hair kits. So I'm using my March kit, which if you haven't seen yet, I will leave the link below so you can check out my unboxing video. But it has a ton of Maggie Holmes flourish in it. So I started with this photo of my son Elliot, and he's sitting in what we call the greenhouse. Um, it's just a structure in our backyard. The previous owners used it as like a greenhouse, so they had plants and stuff in there. We don't have anything like that. That. so it's like a play structure for my kids um, but they really like going out there and playing and stuff so um, one day Elliot was just being cute and I took some pictures of him out in the greenhouse and he's saying in the in the photo you I tell him to say cheese um, and he's got a little bit of a speech delay so when I say say cheese he goes chee and it's really cute <laughs> he makes this cute little smiley face so that's what he's doing in the photo it's just a cute little snapshot there's not a whole lot of story to go along with it other than that just we're playing out in the greenhouse like we always do so I decided to title my layout greenhouse fun because of that and I used the grandiflora paper um, on for the greenhouse part of my title um, and I cut that out in kind of like a scripty font and then with the word fun um, I used my well I guess it's kind of one of my favorite um, fonts that I use it's called a blackout font and you can find that on defont.com um, and I just cut it out um, where I wanted it on the white cardstock I'm using as my background and then I decided to back it with one of the six by eight papers in the paper pad. I had a couple different ideas for how I wanted to back the word fun, but I ended up just going this route because um, I thought it looked the best and it allowed me to bring in a, another color. So there's a green and yellow obviously in the word greenhouse, but with the fun I was able to bring in some pink too while also playing off the yellow and the green in that first word. Then on the side here, I wanted to, um, you know, kind of uh, ground my photo a little bit. So I decided to um, put a piece of, you know, strip of cardstock pattern paper on the side. Um, and I thought about like a, another pink paper, but I tried a couple and I didn't really like how either of them was looking. So I flipped it over to the yellow rose side of it and um, decided that I liked the way that it it looked there it kind of I don't know made like a little sandwich for my layout so you got the the yellow and green on each side here so now on to my embellishing and I, I I struggled I struggled with the embellishing here because I didn't originally plan to have that um that really bold pattern paper on the right hand side so I thought that I could layer up a bunch of the florals from that die cut pack and so that was the original plan but then once I had that floral paper there it didn't allow the flowers to stand out like I wanted them to and it was really kind of just competing with that paper so you'll see me fuss around with the florals quite a bit here um, because I just didn't really know what I wanted to do and how I wanted to embellish and so yeah I just kind of fuss 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 and nothing nothing was working so I'm kind of just pulling out the same things and trying them in different places and you know nothing was really working so um, I decided to pull out well, first I decided to just adhere my photo down. So I'm like, well, I know this is going here. And that's usually what I do when I'm doing a layout is like when I know something's going to go somewhere, I just do that then and then come back to the embellishing. So I tried to find some, um, some pieces in that die cut pack that weren't florals and that didn't maybe have the colors, the competing colors. So I pulled out that butterfly and I thought for a while that that butterfly would make it on the layout, but it doesn't end up making it. So then I decided to pull out the puffy stickers that were included in my kit and, um, I thought that this little hummingbird was just too cute and I really wanted to use him on my layout. So I kind of put him up there so it looks like he's almost like going to the flowers, um, you know, trying to get to the flowers where it says greenhouse. You can still kind of tell that there are flowers there. And I th thought it was just kind of a fun little touch. 
Um, and then I grab another puffy sticker and I think it says something like all about you something like that but it's just a like a circle puffy sticker and I um, layered it on top of this little circle label so a little bit about these labels you can see them kind of mixed in with the die cut pack there I actually created these um, on my iPad and I'm offering to meet you them to you guys as just a free printable if you'd like so I will link it down below if you want to download it um, it's just a bunch of labels and there's like some tiny word phrases and some circle labels and they're just in the colors that um, uh, would work well for my kit so um, it's they coordinate really well with the flourish collections so when I created them what I did was I just pulled in a picture um, on my iPad I just pulled in a picture of the flourish collection and then just um, use the eyedropper tool and just pulled out all the, all the colors from that collection to create the labels so they'll work with other collections obviously but that's just how I decided to make them to work for me so I'll link that down below if you're interested in getting the free printable um but yeah that should be fun yeah <laughs> let me know if you guys like the idea of getting a free printable um because I can definitely make more they're pretty easy for me to make on my iPad so let me know um and now I'm adding some of these gold leaves which I'm obsessed with so when I first got this kit uh, I really liked the gold leaves because they have the extra texture they have the wire in them so you can kind of fold them up and give them a little bit of dimension um, and I really liked that, but I didn't think that I would use them very often. And I'm almost done with all of them. I've almost used all of these gold leaves. I need more gold leaves because they're amazing. <laughs> so I layered a few kind of tucked under that piece of paper. And then I um, tucked one under these labels here. And again, these are labels that I created um, to go or coordinate with my kit. So I picked a green one and a yellow one. And I just layer it on top of each other. And I'm going to stamp the date on the yellow one right on top. And I just really like that it brought in the white to that area. So I was able to stamp the date over there. I'm going to add a little puffy sticker to one of the labels here. And um, I think about adding another puffy sticker. Um, this full heart one, which is really cute. And the green matches perfectly. But I just couldn't really figure out where to put it. Um, I liked it over there on the title. But I didn't like it so close to the hummingbird. Since I already had that puffy sticker there, I just felt like it was too close to that puffy sticker. If that makes sense. I don't know. I just, I thought it looked like too much over there too much puffy sticker not enough something else so I kind of fuss a little bit more trying to figure out what I want to use if I want to add more um, and I know okay I'm gonna put my date here right like I'm gonna put my date on that label so I go ahead and do that I'm still messing with the like the the flower die cuts and really it's like just give it up here it's not gonna work so I'll stamp my date on that yellow label and then um, I'm going to add some gold Heidi Swap Color Shine um, kind of just all around my page just to bring a little bit more of the gold. And once I'm done doing that, then I will call my page done. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will leave the link to the printable in the description box and I will see you soon for another layout process video. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you.